Good evening, happy new year, brothers and sisters. Good evening, families and friends. Good evening, this is your sister Masa coming to you with this new year video to you. I bring you the message from the throne of grace. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Happy new year. Happy no prosper new year to this body of Christ on this platform. Trust in going in our generation, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hallelujah. I come with the good news to you from the throne of grace. Come to take the good news of the Lord, brothers and sisters. And we bless God this hour that we are alive to see this 2023. Today is the first day. Happy, blessed first Sunday of the year. Hallelujah. Our oh, God is good and kind. He is wonderful. He is merciful. He is great, brothers and sisters. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to bless you, O oh God, on this platform. It's all about trusting God in our generation. I'm blessing for a young generation in our days. I think for our children, our future generation. I bless you, O oh God, for everyone that has subscribed to this channel, every family that has subscribed to this channel. Now, Lord, I pray, O oh God, for the lives of their family, and I pray for those going to subscribe in the future to bring forth people to come and support the platform in the name of Jesus. I think thank you, O oh God, for your word that is coming forth. I think thank you, Lord, I will decree you go increase. On this platform is not about me, oh God, use me as a vessel of honor for your word, oh Father, for your people to be saved in the name of Jesus. That your word that is coming forth from the throne of grace to transform life of people, oh God. People will be saved through your word. I just, I just thank you that we just want to bless you and I just honor your name for who you are. Take your glory and have your way in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Families and friends, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. God is good to you and I. Bless, happy new year. I wish all a prosper and a prosper powerful and magnificent new year hallelujah upon our life we all have in the name of jesus in the vineyard of god may god bless us in his vineyard this year 2023 i go do wonderful and magnificent thing in our life in the 2023 hallelujah he's the god that answered prayer by fire he's the god that caused the water to fall in our life he's the god that opened the red sea he's the god that saves structure mission and the burning from the fire furnish where where there was put there where they were put in, brothers and sisters, to be killed. But God saved, and the angel of the Lord came and appeared to them then. Jesus Christ was there in a fire, and the fire never hurt them. Brothers and sisters, we need to trust God. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to trust you, help us to serve you, help us to put you forth in our life, in our days, in our time. It's all about you, oh God. It's not about ourselves, but all about you. I thank you and I honor you to have your way. Now and forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory be to God, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. I bring in the word of God, brothers and sisters. The word of God I'm bringing today, brothers and sisters, is about the age. It's about the great deception. The end of the age, what God said going to happen, what Jesus Christ said to the disciples that are going to happen in our days and our time, families and friends, this is what I'm bringing to you, the end of the age, and concerning what will happen in our age, in our time that we are living in, brothers and sisters, what we need to expect, what we what we're seeing happening in our time, and we are already seeing these things happening. But I just bring you the word of God so you can know that it is from the word of God, and the word of God is settled forever and ever in our life. It is settled. It will never be part. It will never pass away. The word of God is settled. The heaven ever pass away, but God was will stand the same. Families and friends. So I come to greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and take the message, brothers and sisters. The message. Is the signs of the end of age and the great deception. What are the signs of the end of the age, brothers and sisters? When Jesus Christ was coming from the temple, when you're in the temple, brothers and sisters, when Jesus Christ was leaving the temple, the disciples, his disciples came to him, teaching. He said, What massive stones, what significant bearing do you see in the book of Mark, chapter 13, brothers and sisters? This is Mark 13, I'm reading from that tell you about Jesus Christ when you're coming from the temple and his disciple follow him and were asking question and he started to reply. He said, Not one of these buildings that is here will be left on another that will not be thrown down. Brothers and sisters, thank you, Lord. He said, None of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He said, None of it. He said, As Jesus Christ was sitting on Mount Olive opposite the temple, Jesus, James and John and Andrew came asking Jesus privately, brothers and sisters. He said, asking Jesus, when will these things happen that we are seeing, the signs, what will be the signs that we see in the heaven or around us to know that the end is approaching? Tell us, Jesus, we want to know the sign of these things. Thank you, Lord. He said, they're doing that, we want to know the sign. And Jesus Christ was telling them, brothers and sisters, after 
the kingdom of Jesus, private they were asking for Jesus Christ to tell them the signs of everything that will come to fulfillment in this world for you and I to know the word of God has come to fulfillment for us to all the signs that will be seen, the things that will be happening in our life, in our generation, brothers and sisters. These are the signs they wanted to know. But then Jesus Christ, as he was sitting on the man of all the brothers and sisters, James, John, and Andrew came to Jesus to tell them what would be the sign they'll be expecting in the world. But I so what are the signs we are expecting to see in the end time, in our generation here? Yeah? Because we are living in the end time, brothers and sisters. And now, Jesus Christ answered them and said, Watch out that no one deceive you. Watch out that no one deceive you in the word of God. Watch out that no one deceive you in the kingdom of God. Watch out that no one deceive you in this world. Because you need to read your Bible and pray for you to know the word of God. So that no one can deceive you, brothers and sisters. He said, many will come in my name. They will be claimed that they are Jesus, but they are not Jesus. Many will come to deceive so many people. False prophets, false teachers, false prophets. They will come. These people were racist. They will be coming from on a different altar. They will be, be working on a different altar and get a peer in from in from the public that they are they are used they are working for christ but they are not of christ brothers and sisters this is why he said jesus christ is telling people to be watched out for so this i think you and i need to watch out for in our days to know the false prophet the antichrist the this the great deception and the end time the signs that we're going to see in the end thank you lord and then brothers and sisters he said watch out there not be deceived God, many will come claiming that i am he and will be what? And will deceive many people. But when you hear what rumors of war, he tell you and I what we need to hear, what we need to observe, what we need to be a lamb of is what? When you hear a rumors of, of wars, do not be a lamb. He said, we'll see the thing, we should not be afraid. We should not be a lamb, but we should just watch up and pray. He said, do not see this such thing will happen. Jesus Christ says such of these things will happen. They are the signs of things that are going to happen. That was just the beginning, brothers and sisters. He says such a thing will happen. Then he said, He said, nation will rise against nation. He said, He said, these things must happen, but the end is not yet come. He said, nation will rise against nation. Nations will rise against nation. There are other nations in the world that will rise against another nation for no reason. Just rise up against them to carry trouble to them, to carry war to them, brothers and sisters, and set war at them for no reason. Because they will just rise against the other people, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. It's a nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquake in various places. There will be famine as well. You can see famine, the pestilence, the famine in the world. There are so many hungry people in the world now that brothers and sisters ever before. There are a lot of famine in the world now we can see. And this, uh, this is this, just the beginning of what? Breath pain for you and I, brothers and sisters. This is why we need to pray and see the face of the Lord. This is why we need to worship God, families and friends. The whole duty of a man is to what is to serve God. Obey his commandment and serve the Lord. That all the duty of every man on this earth, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. He said, it's just the pain of breath. He said, you must be. On your guard, he said. He said, you will be handed over. You and I have to be on our guard because we'll be handed over to council, to government, because of the word of God, brothers and sisters. We'll be handed over to local councils, the Bible says, flopping in the sunny ghost on the account of he, Jesus Christ. You must stand. You stand before governor and kings as witness to them. You will stay even governor and kings as wasting unto them to tell them the word of God, brothers and sisters. And their gospel must be preached to all what? To all the nations. You will, you will minister unto those king and prince whatsoever they will carry you, you tell them the word of God, brothers and sisters. <coughs> you said their gospel must be preached to all nations. Whoever, when you say whenever they arrest, you are arrested. And brought to a trial. Do not be for forehand about what to say. Just say whatever given to you at that time. It is not of you speaking, but the Holy Ghost. When they gave it to the governor, whatever they carry to carry to trial, brothers and sisters, they accuse you that you are disturbing. Get preached the gospel. Anything that comes from out of your mouth, the word of God, they release it to them because the word of God that you are giving unto them is of power. Brothers and sisters, it's through the power of the Holy Ghost that you release that word unto them to tell them the wickedness and the wrong train. It's the brother will betray brother, sisters will betray sisters, 
child, children will what? Will be disobedient to the parent. Children will be disobedient to the parent. And children will go against the parents. And they will put even so many people to death. And this is why it's happening. Children are killing their parents in America and over the world. Children are killing their parents. Just because the parents say, don't play a game. You go, you take, go, you fire your, your parents. Brothers and sisters, the things are happening. We are seeing the thing in our generation. This is the signs of the end of age. Brothers and sisters, in Mark 13, I'm reading from, I'm reading from verse 13 now. They say, you say, all will be, you say, all men. You say, all men will be, will hit you because of me. Jesus Christ said, all men will be hated because of him. Because of his word, because we are on Jesus Christ's side, but the one who stand firm to the end will be safe. This is what he said. He said, when you see the abomination that causes dissolutions standing where it does not belong, let the reader understand that let those who are in Judea flee to the mountain. Those are in Judea. When we see these things happening, he said we should flee to the mountain, brothers and sisters. He said we we'll flee to uh, in the mountain. Let no one on the roof of his house come down or enter or enter their house or take anything out. Let no one in the field go back home to take his cloth. His cloth. If you are on the field, brothers and sisters, when this thing is happening, do not. If you're on your rooftop, remain there. If you are, if you, if you, if you all of your house, do not go back to take any clothes because it will be deathful. It will be in the days of a pregnant woman when a pregnant woman is in pain, brothers and sisters. Yes, a nursing mother. They said nursing mother pray that it will not take place in winter. Those are nursing the children. We pray to God that it will not take place in winter because though. In those days, those days will be of what? Distress unequal from the beginning when God created the world until now. And never to be what? Quenched again of the law. You see, if, if the law had not cut short the days, no one will survive. If God does not cut the days short for you and our brothers and sisters in the end of the age, the end, end of time, no one will be able to survive in this world. But what is coming upon the earth, brothers and sisters? I stop to. So the Lord has to cut the day shut for us so that human beings can survive in this world. God have mercy. Let me see what I stop. If the Lord, okay. I stop to 20. Thank you, Lord. I stop to 20, brothers and sisters. And by the end of the age, Signs of the end of the age, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Now I'll read for you. Sign of the end of the age. I just read in Mark from Mark chapter 30 from 1 to 20. It takes the sign of the end of the age that we see, brothers and sisters. Then I'm going to read for you about Timothy. Thessalonians, I mean. I'm going to read for you. Second Thessalonians 2 1, where it says. Brothers and sisters, 2 Timothy 2, 1 refer to what the great deception. Usually when people speak of the great deception, they refer to 2 Timothy. It's true. 2 Timothy talking about the great deception. Why, what will happen in this world? How people will go, how people will be lover of themselves and not lover of God. Which predicted that God will what? Excuse me. Give an end time judgment sin. A powerful delusion. He will bring an end time judgment upon people that have refused the word. God will bring an end time judgment upon those that have refused the word of God. Those that have refused his son, Jesus Christ, as the Lord and personal Savior. He will bring a great delusion over them, brothers and sisters. Those that refuse that even there is a God. People does not believe in our days that there is a God. Some people does not believe in God. But he will send a delusion upon them, brothers and sisters. Yes. Second Timothy 2, 11 say it. God is going to send his judgment as a powerful delusion so that what? They will believe the lies. Because they refuse to believe the word of God, so God will send a delusion for them to believe the lies. The lies of the Antichrist, the last of the false prophet, the last of the fake teacher, the false teacher, the apostles, the prophet, the lies of them. You make them to believe it. Families and friends, we've got to watch up in our days and pray. He said, you're going to make them to believe the lies, families and friends. 
This is the power of God that will make him to believe the, believe the lie. He said this deception is associated with the satanic work of the Antichrist. It's associated with the Antichrist because if you don't believe in God, you want to serve the devil. This is why he's going to lead you to serve him, brothers and sisters. But if you are for God, remain for God. Then you will not be under the strong delusion of the enemy. But if you refuse the word of God and re 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 neglect the word of God and reject the word of God, you reject salvation, you reject the sound doctrine, then you will fall under the strong delusion of the Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. You will fall on it, it will be satanic work of the Antichrist and his what? He will displace of power, two signs and wonders that people will believe to serve the light of him. Thank you, Lord. People will believe to serve the light of the Antichrist, brothers and sisters. But in the passage, in the past, the passage of second Thessalonians also speak of what a great what atopos that will take place before what the man of the lawlessness be revealed. Similar apostles are what predicted somehow, somewhere. The spirit clearly said that in later days we will abandon the faith. People will abandon the faith. They will abandon God's faith and follow what? Deceptive spirit that will not teach them the real doctrine of God that will teach them that will be taught. They will follow after the doctrine that will be taught by demons. Yes, demons. The demons that will be raised up that will go into the church to infiltrate the church that they will be standing over and preaching the word of God. They are not of God. They are demons. They are antichrist. They are witches and wizards. So sorry, standing and preaching the word of God. This is why people will begin to believe, brothers and sisters, because they will start to work magic. And people will believe that they are of God, they are not of God. They will read our Bible, brothers and sisters. They will read our Bible in the 2023. Happy New Year to you all. They will bless, bless, happy New Year to you all. We need to read our Bible. We need to open our eyes in our days. That God said he will never leave his people in the book of Isaiah. 43 verse 2 says, when we are in the river, he will be with us. In the fire, he will be with us. God promises for us sin forever, brothers and sisters. We need to hold God's hands. We need to seek God's face diligently and live according according to his commandment and his status for our life, that when the destruction come about, that we will find ourselves in the rightful place, brothers and sisters. Because God's destruction will come upon those people that will be falling under the strong delusion of the Antichrist. Because they, ref they refuse to, to accept the true doctrine. They accept the lies. So the delusion will come over them to, be, to believe the lies of the Antichrist, brothers and sisters, and the false prophets of his. Thank you, Lord. He said the Lord has now been revealed. And the Bible already finished saying it, brothers and sisters, that people were bound to people were bound the word of God. They were bound their faith and follow a deceptive spirit that will be taught by demons in the book of 1 Timothy 4. 1. This is what the word of God said. People will fall from the faith. They will follow after demons teaching. They will follow after demons doctrine and leave the doctrine of God. And even going from their own faith. Of course, people are what? Compare in what? In what? Deceptive deception. People will be compared into deception, brothers and sisters. This is why the enemy will compare in good into deception. For they reject the truth and prefer lies. If you reject God's words, definitely you will follow after the word of Satan. Satan will lead you to where you need to be led. Because what? You reject the word of God. You if you reject the word of God, Satan will lead you to go to where you need to go. He will give you that. Bring a strong delusion over people that will believe the lies. Yeah, man. That you believe the lies. So many people believe the lies, brothers and sisters. God, watch out and pray. In the book of Timothy 4 1, thy Bible is telling you an hour from this and friend. But they will reject the truth and they'll prefer the lies. He said, For time will come when people will what? Put up what the sound doctrine. They will put all the sound doctrine of God. As he preaching the word of God today, the Holy Scripture, when tell it, when you tell people from this and friends about the word of God that is in the sixty six book of the Bible, people will not prefer the word of God anymore. They prefer the word of the devil, the lies of the devil. That what people will prefer. That what the strong delusion will come upon people if we reject the word of God today. If we reject the kingdom of God, God true word that He wrote, brothers and sisters. If we reject it, then you follow after the lies of deception of the Antichrist, the lawless spirit, the lawless demon, the Antichrist that will reveal Himself as as King in the temple. 
as or as God in the temple. Then you got to follow after that. If you refuse, people will fall away from the truth, from the faith, brothers and sisters, and follow after the strong delusion. Remind us, we got to stand in the house of the Lord, brothers and sisters. We got to stand firm. This is what Timothy is saying. Timothy 4.1. People will follow after false doctrine because of deception. They will leave the truth of God. Families and friends. They will follow, they will leave the sound doctrine of God instead. And they will what, go for their own desire. Whatsoever their heart desire, whatsoever their mind want to listen to. And they will gather uh, around then a great number of teachers to say that they are issue ears to listen to things that, that will bring issue ears to them. And one net to hear and said they will turn their ears away from the truth in the book of second Timothy 4 3 to 4. They will turn Christian believers, families, and friends. That's why the Bible said that even the elect will be deceived because people will turn their ear from the truth and turn their ear to what the devil is teaching and the antichrist and the deceptive spirit of false doctrine that what people will turn their ear to, families and friends. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke about a time to come when the deceptive the deception will what be especially great when false messiah and false prophet will appear this is the time the deception will be great and this is the time we are in brothers and sisters because the false prophet is on a rise they have a rise and the false teachers they have a rise this is what a great deception is going on now brothers and sisters in the world that we've got to be very very watchful and pray hey papa god help us jesus they will appear even to the people of God and could be what? Deceived if it were not God providable protection. If not God providable protection that will be over you and I for us to, to be on God's protection, a false Messiah and a false prophet will appear to perform great signs and wonders to deceive people, brothers and sisters. They will appear to to, 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 to show great signs and wonders and a great sign that they will perform, brothers and sisters. He said, if possible, even they will deceive the elect. It's in Matthew 24 24. That the power is saying they will even de de deceive the elect. The old people that are already ready to go into the kingdom of God will be deceived. So we've got to watch our brothers and sisters and see. You also look in Mark 5, Mark 13, from 5 to 6, and look. 21 8. He said, All of this deception are instigated by the devil. All this in the, 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 the deception is instigated by the devil. It's the devil that will instigate all these things. This is why we got to pray as children of God to not be deceived by the devil, brothers and sisters, because he will come in all colors to deceive people. He said, However, second time, uh, 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 Thessalonians 2 11 also speak of what deception of God's punishment. He will come to deceive people, then God will bring his own deception or punishment upon people that refuse his word, that will reject his word. He said that deception will come upon them as a punishment upon those people that refuse God's word. A punishment unto who that will refuse to believe the truth. The ex the content seems to be similar to that of, of the gospel passages above. That speak of one who come, who will be especially deceptive. The coming of the flawless one by the what? The active of Satan. And with all power and four signs and wonders. And all, with all wicked deception for those who are perishing. He will come away. He will come for those that are perishing. Not people that are waiting on the law. Not his people that already believe and trust in him. But we have to be very, very careful because he said if possible, he will also deceive the elect. This is what makes it very, 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 very important for you and I to know. The Bible make it explicit to you and I that if possible, he will deceive the elect. So we gotta be watch, we gotta watch our brothers and sisters so we can be, be deceived by the enemy. After you have said go all your life and you can't be deceived by the devil last minute of time and you will not be able to enter the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ will say, depart from me, I know you not. You, you curse generation, depart from me. God have mercy. Let God have mercy upon us, Papa. Father, I just want to say thank you. This is the word of the Lord, families and friends. This is the word of the Lord to you this evening. We got to be very, very careful. We got to watch and pray. 
we've got to watch and pray because the, the, the deceptive spirit of lawlessness has already been act, uh, what? active or set on. With all power, you'll be working false signs and wonders. With all wicked deception to those who, who are perishing. Those are already perishing are the people you go for. Because they refuse to love the true and to be saved. They refuse, brothers and sisters. The Bible makes us to know that they people have refused to accept God's words. This is why the devil will lead them to deception and destruction. Therefore, God sent them to a strong delusion so that they may be deceived. They, will, they, will, they may believe what is false. In order that they may what? Be condemned. Who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Can you imagine? They had pleasure in unrighteousness. So God will bring a strong delusion upon them. People don't want to live for God anymore. People only want to live for the war and the devil. What shall it profit a man to gain his soul war and lose his own soul? Because the heaven and earth will pass away. Everything here will pass away, but God's words will stand the same. Families and friends, we're going to watch out and pray. Families and friends, this is the time we need to watch out and pray because this is the time we are living in that false prophet, false teacher have arises in the world. They are only aroused. They are sitting in the churches. They are behind the pulpit, families and friends, and preaching the word of God. They are not of God. God has not yet sent them. The king of the enemy, the enemy sent them on a pulpit. So you got to be, you got to open your eyes. And you have the spirit of discernment to know these people that you're not give into the deception, families and friends. They will not give into the deception. Because the time is coming from this and friends that God hold you and are responsible because we don't know his word. If you don't know the word of God, the enemy will deceive you to fall under his great deception. Thank you, Lord. The true boy have pleasure. They want to have pleasure in unrighteousness. That's why the enemy will lead them for them to believe the lies. And God also say in the book of 2 Timothy, to now to 12, he said, after people have refused the truth, so long God causes them to believe what is false and give them this strong delusion. It will not be any kind of let the delusion. People refuse to learn the truth, to know the truth, to believe the true word of God. God will bring a strong delusion upon these people to believe the lies of the Antichrist. This is an instance where God active, actively deceive people hallelujah it's not god actively deceiving people it's they themselves deceiving themselves rather god is simply giving those who reject the truth that they may really want hallelujah thank you lord but as still we need to believe the truth so we cannot fall after the great deception and we have we read about the signs that we need to know about in the end time brothers and sisters that i read to you from the book of mike Chapter 13 from 1 to 20 about the sign of the end of age. I read it to you in the sign of the great deception. This is the word of the Lord, families and friends. Thanks be to God. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good to you and I. I want to we just say bless bless happy bless new year to you all. Hallelujah. Happy, happy, bless new year to you all. This year is a year that you and I have to watch and pray and give our life to Christ Jesus. Make self go. Make make our salvation right with God, brothers and sisters, in our life right with God, and seek the face of the law that He said, "All the duty of the man is to obey His commandment, fear Him, and to obey, obey His commandment, brothers and sisters." That is the duty of every man to fear God and obey His commandment. That you and I fear God and obey His commandment, will walk into the study of God, will not be able to fall after the great delusion, and will not fall under the great deception of the Antichrist or the lawlessness of deception that will come, brothers and sisters. So God help us, Lord, in the 2023. Help us, O oh God, to remain in your vineyard. Help us to worship you in truth and spirit. Help our family and our children to serve you, O oh God. Let our children get to know you for their life in the name of Jesus. Papa God, I just want to tell you, thank you for your word that have come forth unto your people on the YouTube channel. Trust in God in our generation, O oh Father. I'm going to bless you for your word that have come forth. That Lord will go forth to touch the heart of people that need to be saved, O oh God, and transform the life of people, the youth, the parents, the children, everybody in the world that need to listen to the word to be saved today, O oh God. Let them be saved in the name of Jesus. I tell you, thank you that bless your word, O oh God. Let me increase to go increase on this platform bring forth people that will subscribe to this platform that will support this platform in the name of jesus in any way they can support brothers and sisters if you want to find me on facebook you can go there i have a mastery with giving brothers and sisters organization that is there that need help for the children the older people 
and the honor privileged people in Liberia, brothers and sisters, you can subscribe to the Facebook channel and also be able to give on paper or whatever channel you can use to support the platform to, to, to support the mastery we're giving to the needed brothers and sisters. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God. Thank you for you that have subscribed to this channel and those that are going to subscribe in the future. Bless God for every special and wonderful people. God's special people that will subscribe to this channel that will support the platform. I want to bless God for you this year. That call up hold us together in love and unity and peace to pray for one another. This is the word of the Lord that have for the first Sunday of the year today. May God bless his word and may God bless his people. Now and forevermore in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The closing prayer will be taken from the book of Numbers chapter 6, brothers and sisters, from 24 to 26. That says, May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and I. And give up peace as a pass it all honestly. Peace I live with you, family, my friend. Shalom. Stay blessed.